right guys, first of all, welcome to the 30 day at home boot camp. Now, in this course of 30 days, there are going to be some drills that you can definitely take to the range if you're able to do that. Uh, but if you're not able to do that, you can do a lot of this, all of this at home. We're going to, in this first session today, we're going to focus on a couple of things that are pretty uh, fundamental to the square to square swing. But the first session, I just want to have you guys get a really solid foundation. For the foundation, we're going to start with our feet. So as many of you know, in the square to square swing, it's very important that the trail leg is braced. And we, the reason we do that is because we don't want to shift a lot off the ball. If we shift a lot off the ball, then we're going to have to time up the shift coming through impact. And that's also going to throw off our swing arc and our radius. So we want to get that trail side, or for me as a right hand player, my right foot braced like it's in a starter's block, kind of just pressed in on the instep. Once I feel like I've got that, I'm going to set the handle forward for solid contact. And by that I mean that if I have the handle straight up and down or the shaft straight up and down, the touch point or the place where the ball strikes the club head is at about the second groove. So in order to have sweet spot contact, that handle has to be forward enough so that I can hit the third or fourth groove on the club. And now I can get both hands on the club and I should feel like I'm in an athletic and balanced position again with that trail side brace. We're gonna turn back, but we're gonna do this really, really well because we've got 30 days to dial this in. So we're gonna do this really, really well. We're gonna just turn our upper body so we're gonna feel like our arms and the club and our hands are all like in a straight jacket. And we're just gonna turn our upper body so that the club head goes to about knee high. So once the club's in that position, and everything is still intact, I haven't done anything with my hands and arms, the club face is still very square to the arc, the shaft, the club head's about knee high, the shaft isn't quite parallel, I haven't hinged my wrist or opened the face, I'm gonna turn back with my shoulders, back to the impact position, and then I'm gonna turn through and get the club head to about knee high again. Brace the trail side, set the handle, turn back, turn through. As we're doing this, we can be conscious of where that club might be brushing the carpet. So if the club's brushing the carpet too far before the ball, that probably means we just need to get our pressure, our weight more on our lead foot so we can move that low point more forward. But we're starting at this really small scale because it's an area where I know we can all get it right and because we've got a ton of time. We've got 30 whole days. We've got 30 sessions to get this right. This is going to guarantee that we don't have a bunch of random club head movement, a bunch of opening and closing, and a bunch of flipping going on through impact. I guarantee you're going to just, you're going to be a machine. Now, I've done this now like a million times, so it's pretty easy for me. I just get up there and do it. But at some point in this process, you're going to start to really tune into that sensation and really understand that feeling. And when that starts happening, it's going to make everything else in the swing easier. Yeah, let's see what we can get done in 30 days.